Hi, I'm Aura the Mystic. Welcome to my channel where we explore ancient civilizations, personalities, and modern mystical practices. Well, today we're talking about the four personality types that have the best intellectual chemistry with INFJs. And also, I'm going to share the astrological sign that's considered the most intellectual. So first we have INTP the thinker. Known for their love of theoretical and abstract discussions, INTPs are natural intellectual matches for INFJs. Both types share the introverted intuition function, which means they can connect deeply on visionary and abstract ideas. INTJ, the architect. Now they might give you a dictionary for your birthday, but with their strategic and visionary thinking, INTJs align well with the INFJ's intuitive depth. Both types share the dominant introverted intuition, allowing them to understand each other's abstract and future-oriented thoughts. And the INTJ's auxiliary extroverted thinking can also help INFJs articulate and structure their ideas more effectively, enhancing the intellectual bond. Then we have ENTP, the debater. ENTPs come up again on our list, not only for their romantic chemistry, but also for their intellectual compatibility. Known for their dynamic and engaging conversations, ENTPs stimulate INFJs with their innovative ideas and love for intellectual debates. ENTPs are considered one of the best matches for INFJs in general, making them stand out in more than one category. ISTP, the virtuoso. ISTPs bring a hands-on approach to intellect. They excel in practical problem solving and technical fields, which promotes a unique intellectual chemistry for INFJs. ISTP's dominant function, introverted thinking, and their tertiary function, extroverted sensing, offers a grounded and practical perspective that challenges INFJ's abstract thinking. So this complementary dynamic can lead to intellectually stimulating and innovative discussions. Now before we wrap up, it's important to note that many INFJs consider themselves sapiosexual, meaning they require intellectual connection to feel attracted. Now, while we focused on these four types, there are other personalities that INFJs also could find intellectually stimulating. INFPs, though not featured in our top four, INFPs are known for their deep insights and creative thinking. ESTPs, while primarily known for their action-oriented nature, ESTPs also possess sharp intellectual skills. Their extroverted sensing is primary for them as ESTPs, but it's inferior for INFJs. And then they share the middle introverted thinking function. And this can provide an exciting, and stimulating intellectual connection. And then another INFJ can also offer intellectual stimulation through shared cognitive functions and simpler ways of thinking. So the most intellectual astrological sign, and so drum roll, many consider Aquarius to be the most intellectual of all the signs. Known for their innovative thinking, love of knowledge, and ability to think outside the box, Aquarians often are seen as visionaries with brilliant mind. Besides INFJs, other personality types commonly considered sapiosexual include INTJs, ENTPs, INFPs, INTPs, and ENFJs. These types are often drawn to intelligence and deep conversations, valuing mental stimulation and a strong intellectual connection. INTJs and ENTPs in particular thrive on intellectual challenges and debates, while INFPs and INTPs seek meaningful, thought-provoking discussions. ENFJs, though empathetic, also appreciate intellectual depth in their partners. Now, some people confuse sapiosexuality with demisexuality, but they are distinct. INFJs, for instance, are often drawn to both intelligence and a deep need for emotional bond before experiencing attraction. I'll delve into demisexuality in more detail another time, but for now, here's the key difference. Sapiosexuality is about being attracted to someone's intelligence, where mental engagement is the driving force. Demisexuality, on the other hand, means the attraction only develops after forming a strong emotional connection. So what about you? What kind of chemistry do you prefer? Please comment below. Well, thank you for joining me today. I'm Aura the Mystic. The best way to support my channel is by subscribing. Stay magical, stay mysterious, and have a great day.